All right, it's ship breaking time. What's it today? Morning, ship breaker. Your theta wave levels are high. Please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Huh. Anything new? Nope. Uh, let's check the equipment room. I think I already grabbed what I can. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what equipment do we have? Nope. That's not it. Equipment! Uh, let's see. Actually, I have no links tokens. Boy! Do I need to do any repairs? Actually, yes. 50% is usually where I go for the repair. It's not like I really need to worry about it too much. Uh, let's see. Hey, thank you, Sia Stred. For the Prime sub, and welcome on in. Okay, so I have more than enough wires, but I do need circuits if... Oh, wait, no, no, no. But we're done with this ship. This ain't the one I want. Start shift. Where are my other ships? What? Job board, jobs available? None? What? What? Uh, why do I have no ships? Oh, it's forcing me into to a tutorial. Oh, of course. Dealing with uh, higher tier stuff. That makes sense. Well. All right, so we put the wire in, but I'm going to need to find circuits which are found in communications arrays. All right, so I have to do the tutorial. All right, that makes sense then. Okay, new ship, clear. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need training. I'll figure it out. No, I actually do appreciate the tutorialization. Last time I did tier two stuff, I was very confused. That one guy is absolute trash. Alright, looks like we don't have to worry about any air pressure, except for maybe one of these airlocks here. So this is the ECU. How do we vent it? Do we just go up to it? Okay, release ECU coolant. How? Because that's the coolant pipe. Hmm. I don't see an interact. Yeah, then in it. Unless it's removed the panel. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here, so I guess I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Well. This seems, seems vaguely correct. Oh, it's a pickup. Okay, yep, here we go. This is, this is exactly what I needed. I just need to not hit myself in the face with it. 
All right, coolant is done. Then I got to get in here and release the thrusters. Airlock Activate this. That should be good. All right. Are we, we, where the heck? Oh, we're here. What? All right. Oh, okay. Here's how we get up here. Being near the reactor is messing with the visuals a lot. Okay, this isn't so bad. All right. And now I can't see biscuits because everything is messy. Oh. Okay. Electrical damage. Links recommend avoiding high voltage power sources. Uh, let's see. So I needed to have cut this clear earlier. Okay. Let's do that. Is this clear? Mostly. Caution. Test salvage destroyed. Please refrain from damaging salvage. Destroy the melting mounting plate. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Okay, is this just the reactor? Okay, let's not do that again. Well, I'll be. Well done, Cutter. You continue to impress. Now we just gotta work on improving the time. All right, we're done with training. We'll leave you be now. Great work today, Cutter. We were out. Well, that was a bit of panic. Oops. Whatever. Railgate? Whoa. I missed it, but it looked cool. Oh, what a beauty. You know, no matter how many times I see that old railgate fire, it never ceases to amaze me. Could be you on there one day. I'll have to... I'll have to see if it fires again. I hope it does. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Uh, let's see. Thank okay, grab tethers. Otherwise, I'm fine. I was just thick in the ship, and I wasn't quite sure what he meant by the rail gate, because I've never been told to go look at it before. So I was a little lost. Well, either way. Stuff went kind of bad there, but we actually didn't lose much. So, I don't know. I, I guess I'm kind of proud, as weird and scuffed as that was. Alright. Definitely not doing it in that order again, though. I almost always leave the reactor for last, and I stand by that as far as, like, a process. As far as process goes. Just because the alternative is just so much messier. I mean, obviously, I don't want to leave it for last last, but... I definitely want to, like, shelve a beast before I do such things a second time around. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Let's see. All of this... Yeah. All this goes for the processor. Well, let's just... Accepted for processing. No, that didn't work. Just tether that over. Huh. That didn't work. It apparently just pops off the door. Dang. I was really hoping I could send the whole thing. I guess if you grab the mounting plate. It works. There we go. Valuable object processed. 
Uh, let's see, mild secret spoiler? Uh, only tell me that stuff if I've like conclusively missed it. I don't like being told beforehand. For the most part. Maybe? I don't know. Because I know like missing stuff like the rail gate is unfortunate. Oops. We're getting a little here. You know what? I'm not going to even do that. Missing stuff like the Railgate is a little unfortunate, but it's also kind of one of those that if I know I'm supposed to be looking for it, it kind of ruins the the magic of it all the same. Uh, thruster cutoff switch requires power to work. So leave the in intact power after pulling the re reactor. Okay. Ooh, I made a mess of this. Does, does the reactor go into a meltdown state if you pull the thruster? Wow, whole thing just is kind of a giant mess. Here's a question though. Ah, uh, no, the thruster cap. I could actually toss this whole thing in the processor except for the fact that it's freaking heavy. All right, one way or another. I guess the other option is actually, instead of even disconnecting the thruster, I, you're right, I can just throw it in the barge. I guess we lose a little bit, but, uh, that would be kind of the easy answer. We'd still have to disconnect the coolant. Let's see, have you found any good ways of extracting doors that are stuck open? I don't even bother. Door, doors are worth nothing. I know there's the desire to grab everything, but even these lights are kind of not really worth it. Okay, is this? No. That's separate enough. Yeah, I, I did a bit of number on this, trying to open the hole for the reactor, which honestly worked out. But it did make a bit of a mess. Alright. There we go. Anything else? I think we're good? There's like a lot of these little bits that I might as well toss off. I don't know how much they're worth, though. Uh, let's see. So I guess big question is, you know what, I'm going to leave this whole butt section for later. It's just kind of in my way. Raw material uh, or the rest of the ship's in my way and trying to, trying to get the Tuckus around and through just sounds like a nightmare. So let's just not. Okay, so we have an arrow bridge. And there's stuff in here. I don't think I can just disconnect it. Uh, let's see. I'm very, very worried about cutting other things. The game likes to do that to me. Where I'm just like trying to cut a section and then it's just like, Hey, but what about this other wall? And it's like, no, I, I didn't want that. Okay. I don't know. Let's just scoot here. Cut. Should be good. Okay. Is this whole thing disconnected? No. Yes, actually? It looks like the, uh... Looks like this awkward bridge is se entirely separate now. Let's just kind of push it out. We wish there was a button for lock thing in place. Okay, where's the enemy gate? Uh, I'm lost. There it is. Okay, same deal. There we go. All 
right, so what do we have in this mix? Because I want to rip some things out. Ideally, if I can disconnect the whole bridge section, that'd work even better for me. There we go. Grab that. We're good. Okay, can I disconnect this whole thing? No, there are no cut... Uh, there might be cut points. Let's go back outside, because I think that's how I get to them. There's cut points on the outside here. I kind of want to pull it away from the furnace if I can, but I don't know. I don't think it's actually that bad. It's just a little... Oh, no, it is on the inside. Shoot. There's, yep, nope, all the cut points are actually in there. Oops, a doop. Okay, I've got an okay amount of oxygen. I think I'll finish this and we'll go from there. Okay, uh, grab bunny character D. Why is it always D? Oh, road trip friend. That's amusing. Alright, there we go. Now the whole thing's kind of separate. Whole thing's meant for the furnace. Easy peasy. I'm always scared when they start spinning. Okay, so, so I don't need the computer terminals. A snack. I think we're good. Alright. Uh, let's see, what is this? A bottle? Oh no, it's a fuse. So that might actually be something I need. I was wondering about those. Wall terminal. As wires. Okay, I have more than enough wires that I pretty much won't need more. I think. We'll see. Also, uh, I missed some things. Thank you, what is that? Mini Mergle for the five gifted subs and Broken Synchronicity for the two gifted subs as well. Thank you both. All right. Toss these out. Nice hard crate. And then I think after this, we're golden. Yep. Bam. All right. Anything else from this? No, I think the rest of this just goes to the processor. This one's a bit of a doozy. The question is, how valuable is the arrow bridge? Because it doesn't seem like there's a way that I can disconnect it. So if I do this... Well, that worked. Probably should have actually done that from the get-go. Because that would have made getting into the bridge much, much faster. Okay. There we go. And you know what, I'm just going to blow some tethers here. Or er, nope, 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 nope. It didn't actually... Your oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. It didn't actually finish cutting. Well, screw it. It's not going into the furnace at the very least. It worked so well the last time, but not this time around. Uh, let's see, oxygen, tethers I'm fine on, fuel... Yeah, I'll grab some fuel. I know I'm supposed to be paying the debt off, but... Alright. So why didn't you cut? Also, we still have the atmosphere control unit. Toss that off at the very least. Alright, so now that we have that, 
Let's go back to trying to cut this arrow bridge. There we go. Now it's now it's his own thing. Huh, I wonder if they ever fixed the phantom connection points. I hope they did. Okay, this is big and heavy. And it's not actually that big. It's just... Ah, it's slow. There we go. Alright, so let's take a look at the, the rest of this. Because we've still got some junk left over from my capers. There we go. Okay, so... How do we approach the rest of this? I'm definitely going back to front, which I almost never do. I guess first and foremost, we got a couple of cut points in here. I might as well actually let loose the rest of this. Is that it? No. It was just a spinge more. Boy, I made a mess. Could have made a worse one, but I did make a mess. Yeah, let's just go for... Let's just go for the easy one. Where I don't have to worry about clicking wrong. Okay. And we're good. Ooh, ooh, nope. Grab the airlock, please. Thank you. That yeah, didn't quite work. Oh, shoot. Yeah, there was an airlock console in there. I forgot. I was just like, it goes in the processor. But, oops. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's like barely any lost money. Okay. So is this whole top thing kind of separate? Looks like it is. I'm being kind of sloppy here, because, I don't know. Just sloppy mood today, I guess. Alright, now here's the thing. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the one with the weird-ass cut points. Uh, what the hell did I cut there? You know, I was talking earlier about how... You know, the cutting tool always makes me feel kind of uncomfortable because it just likes to do whatever the heck it... What it? Wow, that furnace is stupid. It really should not be able to pull in something to that extent. I know people were saying, no, it's just stuck on the wall, but the answer is no, that is most certainly the furnace just having way too much gravity for its own dang good. All right. Yeah, I cut maybe a bit too hard here, but yeah, whatever. Is all of this? Yeah, so the whole housing here goes in the furnace. I just have to figure out how the heck to... I'm going to remove the ECU. Because I don't, I don't see any cut points here, so I might actually just want to delete the floor. Did I get it at least? Nope, it didn't. Well, that hurt. Dang. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll do... Oh, shit. Yeah, go figure. I couldn't remove it. That one's huge. All right. There we go. Yeah, we'll just do this the slow way. Yeah, because all of this is bound for the furnace anyway. Let's just, uh... Pop the box apart. It should work. It'll cost me like 10k credits, but... Eh. Hey, thank you, Pampukin, for the 29-month resub. Thanks so much. 
No, it's still connected. So... Hmm... I... I think I'm gonna have to do this. Okay. It's separate, and we now have a floor that I can remove. Does it come with the ECU? No, it does not. Alright, get out there. I said, go. Big chunker. I mean, it is like a full on metric ton. So I guess that shouldn't surprise too much. A coolant pipe cannot be separated out, can it? Yeah, so I'm gonna have to cut it. Hopefully this doesn't blow up in my face. Nope, looks like we're good. I don't know how you're supposed to separate the coolant pipe out. Because it doesn't seem seem like it separates normally. It's like a computer console on that, but I don't... I think that goes for the barge anyway. Or maybe that was just part of the ECU. Doesn't matter much to me. Alright. What else do we have? Salvage deposit regulator. Account credited. And we have like a small legion of lights. Which I guess I should... I don't know. Salvage I have yet to decide secured. if the lights are actually Credit worth keeping or not. I think early on they might be a little bit more worthwhile. But once you get to this point in the game it's kind of like... Eh, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, I don't see anything else. It's going to be a little bit of a doozy getting it out of here. But I guess I can move it. Oh, I didn't get it all. What are you stuck on? Because it's not really moving. It's rotating weirdly. Which is a little worrying. But maybe it'll be fine. Please don't take something else with you. Oh, what? Oh. Raw material deposited. Miss that. Alright, looks like this is going. So now that we've done that, oh boy, time for the biggin. I gotta be very careful about this one, because if I hit that fuel thing bad, wait, hold up. This actually might still have fuel in it. Is there, is there a way to disconnect this? Yes, there is. Okay, so there is no longer fuel in any of those pipes. I was looking at that, I'm like, I bet if I cut that, everything is going to go badly for me. Huh. <sighs> okay. Anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. So, in that case, how the hell do we remove this? Oh, no. Oh no. What are you still connected to? Okay. Nope. Wait, what? What? Okay. Come on. I. What? That's very strange. Hopefully that was meant for that. Okay, so the phantom cut points are still in the game. But that's okay. 
At least it didn't hit the, uh... Didn't hit the fuel tanker. But where's the boom? I... I am a wizard. God damn it! You really can't hit that thing at all. <laughs> oh man, alright. Well this has been This has been a thing. And I was trying not to use the cut tool because I was afraid it would cut into the tanker. I guess you really really have to like cut away from that. That sucks. Yeah, so all of all of this is now scrap shit. Well I Oh, wait, no, that's... you go to the furnace, don't you? The wild part is, I still haven't actually uh, dropped below the threshold of a perfect selfage, which is... I don't know. I feel undeserved at this point. Okay, well, that's separate. I guess all this junk is still worth something, somehow. Warning. Low oxygen I don't know, man. Let's see, would shooting top-downs of the fuel line isn't in the line of sight work? I think it would, yes. Destroyed scrap worth nothing. Feeling judged right about now. Oh, well, oxygen and let's grab a med kit. I've yet to die, so I kind of want to keep working on that. So what happened? Uh, I clipped the explosive. Hey, where's the boom? I don't know. I got gutsy. I shouldn't have. Okay. I think you're good enough. That's kind of convenient that that's just out. Nice part is when this thing exploded, it took out all of the cut points. Uh, which... Certainly makes my life easier. Yeah, even took out the thrusters. Well, is what it is. What it is. Nice part is failure like this means less time spent cutting it apart. Feels kind of tacky, but you know what? We're here. I'll take what I can get. Okay. But the rest of this. Yep, still the furnace. Okay, these separate? Yep. Everything is loose. Like I said, kind of nice, actually. Not, like, intentionally so. But it is going to save me time. I... I bet... I bet there's... really wacky speedrunners who know exactly how much everything is worth and go for the... go for the explosion immediately. Just, you know, know where to shoot it so it explodes and just pops right open. Okay. Then again, this is a little time consuming, so maybe not. Okay. Grab the rest of these thrusters. Yeah, all of this. Oof. It can't destroy too much actually good stuff here. So I gotta be a little careful that I don't throw in anything that's actually worth something. The unburnt bits are apparently still good. Uh, let's see. You? Yeah, processor.
Above cut grade? What? All right. Wait, no, 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 no. I... No! Come on! Injury detected. This incident may be recorded for training and quality purposes. Well, that sucked for a lot of reasons. <sighs> yeah, there's my first death. This is the killer pipe. Well, I needed a YouTube thumbnail. Now I get like three. Uh, God damn. This, everything that could have gone wrong with this, except for that, except for that one section. Uh with the reactor. Everything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. I don't know. I... it's fine. It's fine. We, we're still gonna come out of this with a perfect somehow. Which just feels wildly undeserved, but... Yeah. Whatever. I do have to be careful. I gotta grab... everything, though. Okay, so how the heck... Okay, here we go. Here's the cut points. That says no backseating, but I gotta say you should keep from getting killed. No, man. The deaths are spicy. I'm a little upset that I didn't make it, though. I was so close. I could've... Like, that would've been one hell of a save if I'd managed to not die somehow through all of that. Let's wait for this cool, cool down. Let's see, is that a cut point? It is a cut point. But yeah, would you be nearly as entertained if I wasn't messing up terribly here? I don't think so. I think this is good content. Even if I'm lightly tilted about it. Holy shit, there is just so many cut points. Oh, is it like a double airlock? It is a double airlock. I was wondering about that. Okay, any other cut points visible? I don't know. Probably. Died twice on your first ship. Ouch. Okay, let's not set ourselves on fire again. There we go. And yeah, I'll want to try another one of these, probably. Maybe not immediately. I think I think I might need a break uh, from this type of ship for a bit. But uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Maybe we could do another of the, these. I just like cycling uh, one ship type to the next. Keep things feeling kind of fresh. Okay. Ooh, I might have baked goods. Whoa. I have more than baked goods. I got pizza. Where'd you guys get pizza from? Alright, now that I've been properly pizzaed, go back and cut the rest of this open. I'm gonna have to be a little careful because there's probably a lot of airlock consoles in here that I'm gonna have to pull out. There we go. Luckily I can't actually cut the bulkhead so I don't need to worry too much there. 
I gotta worry a little bit. It'd be pretty sad if I lost, uh, lost my fifth objective because I was just cutting the wrong thing a bit too much. There we go. Did this have three airlocks? One, two... I swear there's a third. Yep. It has three airlocks, or at least passage. No, that is an airlock. Okay, one, two... Three... Kind of four airlocks? It's a bit weird. That's a lot of airlocks, though. Okay, I'm new here, so what is this game? So, uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker is about cutting ships apart in order to salvage them for as much money as you possibly can. Uh, there's three different things that you toss them into. The processor, the furna furnace, and the barge. And you're trying to be accurate and, uh, you know, little... Least amount of waste and least amount of uh, accidental, terrible mishaps as possible. Alright, do we have any other cut points? I see, like, one or two. And then I think we're good. Uh, and so currently I'm, I'm cutting all of the... Uh, the structural braces and more or less just disintegrating them so I can just smoothly disconnect everything. Uh, oh. I didn't get it. There we go. Alright, so what is this? I have no idea. Ah, it's the bridge. Okay. That's fine. And remove this? Because we want to just pull things out. See, three airlocks. I see Wander is doing one of the fun ships. Uh, it has been a fun experience, yes. Oh, can I just take off the front now? Yep, looks like the front front is good to go. How are you doing, Crystalon? I think I've actually caught you in a little while, but that's probably my fault for having, you know, chaos schedule. I'm upside down, aren't I? Yeah, I should fix that. Okay. Nope. That's too damn big. One immediate problem is this is maybe a little too messy. It's going to be kind of difficult to remove some of these things. I guess I should start with the bridge. Is the bridge separate? It looks like it's separated out. But on a revised work schedule since February. Don't get home until you're usually done streaming. Ah, yeah, sorry about that. Un unfortunately, this whole being on the East Coast thing has drastically changed uh, what times I'm able to work. So I might actually be doing um, some more late night streams once things go back to some level of normalcy for me. Mainly, once uh, once Shell and I can actually start recording together again, we'll probably do later stuff together. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase. Wrong direction. Applying credit to account. Object accepted for processing. Oh. There's a wall terminal there. Ouch. It must have been right on the outside. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your presence. Fuel levels restored. Yeah, I, I shouldn't mess around too much. Okay. This is separate. It is not going where I want it to go, though. Let's see, how about some streams earlier and some streams later? That way you reach every audience. Uh, it's an option. Uh, it's something I've considered. I was actually considering starting streaming at like 10 a.m. today. Um, but I didn't because I think there's always that, that slight worry that, uh, you know, it's going to be so outside of the schedule that, uh, you know, none of the regs show up, at which point then, like, who am I streaming for? Um, I might do more of it. Part of the problem is, once again, I still have that carpenter. 
that's outside of my office every every weekday, uh, which presents problems. Okay, now is that everything? I think that is. There we go. And this panel doesn't seem to have anything. Perfect. Because, yeah, he is he is hammering and he is drilling and it is loud. There's an atmosphere regulator in there? All right. Okay. Anything else? In the next Peglin stream. I don't know, and I won't know. I'm a very whimsical person when it comes to the content I create. I got a little burnt out on Peglin because I played like 30 episodes. I played like a whole month of Peglin, and many of the runs were starting to get very samey. Oh, that could have actually just gone on the barge in retrospect. I hadn't really thought about that. I've almost wiped out my five star. It's true. I'm not happy about that. I think I'm still fine. There we go. I'm just gonna kill myself again in game. See if I don't. There we go. Alright, let's double check. This one does, in fact, have an airlock console, which are worth way more money than you'd ever think they would be worth. Okay, and then we have an antenna. Toss that off. This panel, I don't think, has anything. I'm just using tethers at this point. Make, make my life a little easier. Okay. <laughs> Schedule not nopers, whimsy, notters. Yup. I just, I don't know. I used to be very ri rigid about a schedule. Kind of. Um, kind of. Back a couple years ago, and then I started burning out finally on YouTube. It took a couple of years. Uh, quite a couple of years. But then eventually I was just like, nope, can't do this anymore. What do I feel like playing today? I don't know, Backpack Hero. What do I feel like playing today? I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna pull this towards me if I can. What am I gonna play, play today? Hard Space. You know, hey minion bots, vote for me. What do I do? It mostly works. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. We've got this barge here. I should, f or not barge. We have this airlock here. It has a console on it, but that should, that should get collected regardless. There we go. How do you know which parts go where? Uh, see how it says furnace, flat, kind of slowly flashing in the center. That's how. Okay. All good? It is. I'm just gonna toss these in. Honestly, linking them together gets me nothing, but it's always kind of fun watching how the physics works when you have a large train of resources going in a direction. Okay, so this one I've got to be kind of careful about, because there's a lot of value packed into this little cube, and I pretty much can't lose any of it. Okay, just try and bring the ladder out. Oh, there's a heat sink. Also one of these. Er, head. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is going to be a problem. I almost wish I could rip off the floor. 
I don't think I'm gonna ha have to. Gosh, yeah, this room is incredibly valuable. How far are you in the game? I don't know, but maybe a quarter? <sighs> maybe? Hard to tell. Okay, I think I can lose the couple thousand that would be involved in ripping off the floor here. I don't, didn't get it. Dang. There it is. Okay. I don't want to destroy too much. But it's going to make my life much, much easier if I do. Okay. Oh, that gets rid of that hole. We might pop the whole box apart. Salvage is destroyed. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I love that line. It You know it's it's very appropriate, but it feels like uh I don't know. It's very infantilizing, I guess. Two more. And yeah, we're still within the cost threshold, just barely. Alright. Please pay attention. I am paying attention. I feel like there should be certain thresholds where it doesn't doesn't yell at you. You know, kind of the recognition that whatever you're Oh no. Damn it. So despite all of that, the floor is not coming off. Uh, okay. That that might just be because things are hooked to it. I'm gonna put my back here. And we're just gonna start removing these. Oops. Let's see if I can separate these. What do you lose earlier to lose that much salvage? I exploded myself. Uh, I hit the, uh, I hit the fuel tank with the, with the beam, and it went badly for me. Whoops. <laughs> I threw a light bulb in. Hook, hooked the tether on it. But yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't being careful enough because I thought I was fine, and then I was not fine. And then it, everything went bad. Why is it only rotating? This is very confusing. Okay, well, I did say I need to rip off every light bulb. Okay. Comes, there we go. I think there's one more computer console in there. Possibly two? Too, it looks like. Okay. Toss them off. I think we're almost done with this one. There, there is another poster. Yeah, I got a little sloppy. Is the uh, the short answer? <laughs> Grab another one of those. Anything else? Yes. Secret. Secret light. Anything else? Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. So if there's any secret light bulbs, we need them. Because at this point, I, I can't Salvage afford to lose secured. anything. Account credit applied. I think we're good? There's something there. For you. A personal terminal. Oh, uh, looks like it, it wasn't actually worth anything. Or at least it didn't have a recorded stated value. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else, so I think we're okay. But 
Yeah, you basically caressed it with a, the laser and wow. Yeah, it is, uh, games sometimes super merciless. I honestly like it. Uh, it means that I can't just, like, goof. But boy. Ah, there's the last computer terminal that I had lost. Okay, so this is just a frame. Nothing fancy. Okay, airlocks, since they go in the barge, they can just do whatever. That's you've done quasar thrusters at this point, right? Yeah. I have I've yet to have any of those go terribly wrong on me. Boy, if I lost because of a door, I'd be a little upset. Okay, yeah, we should go fix that. I have gotten the, uh, well, I've gotten the fuel tanks on the quasar thrusters to explode on me a couple of times, but I always let, I always leave them for last, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, because, you know, I'd only lose a couple thousand. I have demo charges yet. Nope. Frankly, I'm scared of what they may do. Let's see, that looks safe enough. I don't want to have one of these accidentally drag this whole thing in, because that would be pretty bad. Okay, let's see if we have any secret light bulbs that I should be afraid of. It doesn't look like it. So let's... No, it's still just kind of rotating on me. Okay. So, you need to go to the furnace. This needs to go- what? Oh no, it's this thing. I hate this thing. And luckily, you can't really miss with it. Oh, no. It's still connected. Huh. Alright, let's try and do an incredibly shallow wide cut here. Separate it out. There it is. Alright, so far so kind of good, unless that happens. There we go. Okay. There's like a little bit left. Raw material accepted. Holy shit, there's like nothing left. And it's gone. Well, it's like a thousand worth of aluminum. Hardly a problem. Pull the lights off. Okay. There we go. I don't think the lights are going to be make or break at this point. Let's see. <laughs> There's whatever the remnant of that piece was. What? No. So go that way. Weird. Now, is this all furnace? I think it is. I think it's a little separate. Do we have any airlock anythings? I see the door, but I don't think I can rescue the door. Tether supplies are low. Okay, then all that leaves is this. Material accepted. I think we're good. Uh, unless there's some secret thing that I've screwed up and missed. Uh. I'm just gonna try and pull this forward. It might just be too big. I could... I could separate it out. But like, it's only 9,000 pounds. Or pounds, kilograms. That's not that bad. Yeah, we'll just 
just bring it forward. I don't know if three tethers is enough, but I... Hmm, I don't know. My big worry is, is this too big? To go in the processor, because it could get stuck. And then things could go very badly for me. But I, on the flip side, feel like I kind of have to try it anyway, just just because. Luckily, all of this is processor. Yeah, let's just let that go a little further. Let's see. Unfortunately, not much I could do. I still really wish you could just call the, uh, the other characters in this game on the phone while you're hanging out. Regardless of what the anti-union guy uh, says, it would be kind of neat to just hang out and chat during a really slow moment. Kind of like audio logs, but more personal. Alright. One. Two. Three. Okay. Go grab some more tethers. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Alright. I think that's probably one of the biggest things I'm going to throw in the processor wholesale. But it should fit, and I don't think the furnace is going to capture it. And now we just watch as it floats in. Oh, yeah, it definitely would have been faster for me to cut this apart, but I don't know. I wanted to see if I could do it. And if if we were to ever try it, this is the run where I'm ten tempting fate as hard as possible. So it seems appropriate to do it now. Yeah, looks like it's going to fit. I think we actually managed to quote unquote perfect this one. At least as far as, you know, our requirements are concerned. Get rid of that. There it goes. Nom 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 nom. Destroyed a dampener. What? What? Uh. Hold up. Anybody see what I'm missing? Huh. Sometimes there's like a chunk of something. Unless. Silly as it is. Where's where are those airlocks? No, they're, they're connected. Hmm. Let's see, there's something in the barge that I can target. Uh, is there? I mean, I can target all of these, technically. I mean to like pull off. <laughs> it's you getting the furnace. Uh, saw two bright blue pieces up above or down in here. Let's see. If it's not red, it's counted as in the barge. Okay.
Yeah, there's like a little chunk of nanocarbon. What about the anchor stars? And there's specks and smidges. Gosh, if this is what puts me over, I'm going to be... I'm going to laugh. But I don't think that's it. We might have to just give up the ghost on this one. Okay, what is this? Oh, there's a personal terminal. Wait, where, were we, where have all of these things been just floating around? Nope. I guess that goes on the barge because I can't pick it up. All what? Goals have been met. Rewards maximized. <laughs> oh man, that thing was a needle in the haystack. How the hell? How? The hell? It was just floating next to the furnace. I'm so lucky. <laughs> wow, perfect run. New certification level has been achieved. License level increased. Yeah, a bunch of little things scattered by the explosion. It's true. I'm so lucky it was just floating outside of the furnace and nothing knocked it in. would like to share the following inspirational message. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. New hab poster. Anything else? We can now do the javelin tanker medium. Well, considering the last one went so well, let's do that again. We also have news. Things. Anything else? No. Listen up, guys. I got something you'll all like. Oh, are you leaving already? <clears throat> I went ahead and got you all clearance to use something that'll make you 10 times more efficient. Easy. 20 times. You ready? Demo listen charges. Spark free. These will cut through damn near anything. Wait, wait, wait. Spark free? Demo charges? That sounds pretty cool, Mr. Rhodes. Thank you. Uh-uh. No way. Not a chance. Damn things aren't new. Hell, I've been vaporized by those stupid things plenty of times. Curazon, you're spark free. <laughs> things spark so much you could put one on a birthday cake. Curazon, that's it. Come on now, Hal. I'm revoking your privileges for external communications. You... what? Yeah, yeah. No comms outside the station network. No more calls to Mars. All of you need to understand something. I represent the company, and you show me respect. Got it? Hal, let's you and I sit down and talk about this. That's all for now. Best get to work. <laughs> <laughs>